Welcome to this week's Chicken Dentures Rewind, week of July 24th. Let's dive right in. Trevor and Alfredo talk about a small town mystery from Reddit user Iceman Throwaway123, where the user observes strange happenings with the storefronts on their main street. Jeff and Eric enjoy their iced coffee on a hot day at Cherrywood Coffee House, and Gus enjoys his hot coffee. They reminisce about East and South Austin and Jeff's first ex wife that threw up on Gus. Gabe DMs Alfredo, Carrie, Kayla, and Barbara, a party of adventurers who will use their powers for justice? Or will they go into the dark side? As vampires, not Jedi's. That might be soon, though. Jordan, Michael, and Eric review Pizza Hut's Edge Pizza and question the Pizza Hut loyalists. Join Jack and BK on annual past livestream as they discover the best historical figure to ride roller coasters with, the speculative Halloween Horror Nights update, and sneaking into Disney at 2 a.m. Along with this, Jack and Jeff get giddy and introduce the hottest, coolest time in Texas to BK, Schlitterbahn. Welcome to the Schlitterverse. On this week's episode of Face, Jeff and Andrew just get each other. Along with Gavin. STF this week must interpret riddles for the source monoliths to advance and come face to face with puzzling paradoxes that challenge them to their very core. Gus, Eric, Jordan, and Barb get excited about the Switch Fork release on RT Store on July 27th and the secrecy of what Anima stands for because Gus bought the domain for it. In Black Box Down, Gus and Chris talk about Fine Air Flight 101. The four people cargo crew struggle against the plane trying to pitch up too fast and crash into the busy intersection next to the runway, killing the crew on board and one person in their car on the ground. On Community and Coffee this week, it's the RTX episode that didn't get to happen. Chelsea is joined by Steffi of Achievement Hunter, Alika Zolfagari, and Pat from CS Team this week. Conversation goes off the rails and the question is posed. Do you have one party tit and one comm tit? Or are they just always kind of there? The first two episodes of Red Dragon Inn have premiered with our lovely cast. Larry as War Torn Master Chef. Blaine as Jasper the Peacekeeper. Sarah as the Winch's assistant, not even the Winch. Michael as Gurky, Lord of the Coin. Jeremy as Rip Snarl, Bad Dog. Matt as Fleck the Bard. Lindsay as Piper, renowned archer and verified badass. Trevor as Joran the Trickster. Armando as Pookie, cute and cuddly. Barb as Wizgul, the Tinkerer. And Iffy as Cormac, the mightiest warrior of all the lands. And he's a PhD student. Griff and Simmons are accepting questions via Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, or the tattered flyer that they hung up this week. On RTAA this week, Barb stays in the sketchy minute rooms in DFW and steals Gavin Do Not Disturb Dorkling at the hotel they are staying at. Unfortunately, this led to the housekeeper catching Gavin putting beans on his toast. First members, episode 3 of Ruby Ice Queendom was released, and can I say, I am loving this animation by Studio Shaft. This episode recounts and expands upon the events that presented in the second half of Volume 1, uh, and it begins the original plot of the series involving the Nightmare. Moving on to Funhouse this week, another word of the day! Call me old fashioned, but I believe that ball stepping, penis flogging, and urethra play should only take place within the confines of marriage for the purpose of reproduction. Jessica and Elise explore the origins of the modern tombstones and share some of history's most bizarre and funny epitaphs. In Ari House Party, the team unfortunately has to record in the gameplay room because their warehouse studio was robbed. Charlotte, Patrick, and Lindsay take a look at fan art from the community. Ship hits the fan this week as our dastardly crew learns all about narco subs as the king of narco subs, Oscar Moreno Ricardo, was arrested earlier this year. On the Funhouse podcast this week, Jacob, Ryan, John Smith, and Charlotte talk about getting their cars stolen. Oh. I fucking hate you, America's substandard public transportation system, and the James Webb Telescope. Jacob, Lindsay, Patrick, and John explore the sex lives of shellfish during GTA this week. I can always count on Charlotte making a Master of Disguise reference in their council gameplay, also featuring Jacob, James, and Elise. Catch up with Paradise Path Mystery Solvers Club this week on episode 8, released on YouTube, where they end up at Lake Kikimama. Tune into John Holland's return with Lindsay with his new song, Pirates of the Asteroid Belt, in Pirate Belt. Pirates of the Asteroid Belt. 
the asteroid belt. No shooting. Yeah. Belt. And of course, finishing off this week on Inside Gaming Roundup, Ryan talks about the loss of revenue with CD Projekt Red after the release of Cyberpunk 2077. This week on Let's Play, Kai, Michael, Matt, and Trevor play Fall Guys, Sweet Thieves, a limited time game mode. Egg Jeopardy released this week with our host Trevor and contestants Kai, BK, and Michael, with special guest Blaine the Rooster. Yeehaw! It's time for a cowboy caper. This week on Let's Roll, Trevor, BK, Matt, and Jack play Colt Express, a competitive board game that's all about who can steal the most money from a train. Let's see who's the most ruthless outlaw on this side of the tracks. The Stranger Things crew show up in TTT this week. Matt, BK, Michael, Trevor, Gavin, and Jack are teleported to the Upside Down and are batted into the sky. In this week's challenge accepted, Matt challenges Gavin, BK, and Michael to compete in an entire level in Super Mario Galaxy without collecting a single purple coin. Lindsay is the best person to play straight as they brought little cat paws to play with, joined with Matt and Alfredo. Overwatch is back. Trevor, Matt, BK, Joe, and Alfredo hop into the beta and test out the new heroes, maps, and modes. Let's see if they can stand a chance against the new Junker Queen. Trevor and BK form a tentative pact as they search for the killer in Gmod on Gmoner Animated. History changed when Michael and Gavin picked up their controllers and assumed bunny form that fateful day in 2018. Nine hours of gameplay later, the world is rocked to its core and possibly the stupidest content ever was set loose on the internet. Now for the first time ever, watch the entire series highs and lows in the time it takes for a single lunch break. Hop to it, Summer Boys, and don't miss their Summer Boys mix. Part 3 for Wind Waker Randomizer is out with Matt and Michael, where they finally get the grappling hook. And as always, don't miss out on this week's Off Topic with Alfredo, BK, Lindsay, and Joe. Thank you for joining us on another week of Chicken Dentures Rewind. Gabby is in Thailand this week, and Dalton is trying not to burn the house down. Asteroid belt. Pirates, the asteroid belt. No shooting. Yeah. Asteroid belt. Shield her down. Yeah. All right. Now four more are coming out. Yeah, that's just phase one. I forgot when you go to the <laughs> menu, the whole game freezes.